Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome back to my channel, My Loverlies. If you've never been here before, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I am so happy you found me. I do so hope that you will like and subscribe, become part of the Mama family. Mama's got your back. At least where makeup's concerned, and definitely when that makeup is cheap. Speaking of cheap makeup, today is New Makeup Monday, and we have a Burks haul to go over. If you don't know what Burks is, it's like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, that kind of place. It's like a discount retail store, y'all, and I found some real winners. I am so excited to share everything with you. Before we get started, a very special, very warm welcome to any of those that are new to my channel. I am so incredibly happy that you are here. If you enjoy the content, I do so hope that you will mash that thumbs up button. I hope that you will subscribe and I hope that you will ring my bell, turn on your notifications so that way next time I upload a video, you can come right back here and we can hang out together again. Also, my makeup is already done. Y'all, I used a new palette and I am absolutely in love. You guys know that I almost never purchase makeup at full price. I will wait. Uh, you know, a bargain hunter's best friend is patience. I will wait. I will wait for the new releases to go on sale. I'll just bide my time. But y'all, when I saw this new release from Nomad, I could not help myself. This is the New Zealand stargazing palette from Nomad Cosmetics. If you don't know who they are, they're an independently owned brand. Their, their quality is phenomenal. I have one or two other of their palettes, but y'all, this one, it's what I have on my eyes today. And there is no way that you can tell me that this eye look isn't absolutely freaking stunning. This is the palette. This is the palette. She is beautiful. Open her up. And this is the color story. Y'all, it's just, there's six multi-chromes in here. Absolutely stunning, shifty. Oh, so pretty. So, so pretty. I did, of course, make sure to film a TikTok on today's eye look. If you're interested, y'all, this palette was worth every cent of the price point. I think it was like 50 bucks, but y'all, six multi-chromes in here. And not only are there six of them, but they're freaking phenomenal. Like super shifty and gorgeous and just like, oh, they're everything you want a good multi-chrome to be. They're buttery. They picked up so well with a brush. Like you don't have to use your finger to uh, apply them. They're just, oh, they're so, so pretty. Anyway, I will make sure to have the link for the TikTok as well as all of my other socials, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff listed in the description box below. Guys, if you are not following me on all my other socials, you definitely should go do that. I post fun content every single day. And if you're following me everywhere, you don't have to worry about missing a single moment of it. All right, my loves, with all of that out of the way, let's dive in to the new goodness. Y'all, I found some really, really amazing, amazing products this time around, and I really saved so much money. I am so excited. If you don't go into your like local TJ Maxx, Marshalls, places like that, there are a lot of horror stories when it comes to that beauty department. People go in, they trash the makeup, they open it up, they swatch things, they touch things. A lot of it can be really, really old. So you do have to be fairly smart about what you purchase from places like that. But y'all, there was such, oh, so, so good. Anyway, first off, speaking of new eyeshadow palettes, I picked up this one right here. This is the Revolution. This is the Makeup Revolution Hydra Dolphin eyeshadow palette. And I have wanted this one for absolutely forever. It comes in this really gorgeous tin packaging. I absolutely love the packaging. This is just like, it reminds me of like Lisa Frank. Very, very cute. You open it up, it, you have a full size mirror and then this is your color story. I think the color story is super pretty as well. Very, very warm toned. It's like kind of like rosy pinks and browns. There's a lot of gold in here as well. A couple of pops of blue. This is a stunning, stunning eyeshadow palette. And when it comes to the forever flawless formula, because uh, when it comes to Revolution palettes, I think all of their palettes have different formulas. It's not very consistent across the board. However, I find that the Forever Flawless palettes usually have a really fantastic, fantastic formula, and this one didn't disappoint. I think the metallics in here are stunning. 
The mattes are super creamy and gorgeous. Beautifully pigmented as well. This is a spectacular find. Now, I was able to pick this up for $5. Originally, these palettes go for around $15, so I saved about $10 bucks with this one. Fantastic, fantastic find. I am super excited about that one. And then I also found another Revolution palette, and this one is the, this is the Revolution Pro New Neutrals Smoky High Impact Eyeshadow Palette. And this one, I think was meant to be a dupe for one of the Huda Beauty palettes. I don't remember which one. Now this palette originally goes for around $20. Again, I was able to pick it up for five. So I saved $15 on this one. And again, I really enjoy the Revolution Pro eyeshadow formula as well. This packaging is so pretty. This does not feel like a $5 eyeshadow palette at all. Really, really beautiful. It's got heavy, solid cardboard packaging. I love the cheetah print on the front. Is it cheetah or is it leopard? I think it's probably leopard, but I love the animal print on the front of it. You open it up, you get a nice full-size mirror, and then this is your color story. And it is full of the most gorgeous, smoky blue, kind of like midnight tones. This is stunning. Now I'm not gonna touch this, I'm not gonna swatch it. I am gonna keep this pristine so I can put it in a giveaway for you guys because like one of y'all are absolutely going to adore this. I really, really enjoy this formula. I know it's good, but y'all, oh, so pretty. It seems like there are, like there's a pressed glitter in there. There's some really beautiful like high shine metallic shades in there. This is so, so pretty. I cannot wait to give this to one of you guys. And then this one is like a really gorgeous, like duochromatic pressed glitter. Super, super pretty. If you enjoy pressed glitters, you're absolutely going to love this one. Cannot wait to do my next giveaway. You guys should definitely keep your ears peeled. Is it ears peeled or eyes peeled? Anyway, I will be announcing my next giveaway very, very shortly. I've been slowly but surely stocking up so that I can make sure the next giveaway is a good one. I can't wait. Next up, I got a ton of different concealers. Not a ton, but I got a couple of different concealers. I have been very interested in concealer here recently. My skin is so dry. My under eyes are such a problem area for me, especially as I get older and the deeper into winter we get, my skin is just getting drier and I'm old, getting older now too. I'm almost 40 years old. Like I've got a ton of fine lines, things like that. Again, it's just, it's just a big problem area for me. So I'm looking for that perfect concealer. I already have a couple of concealers that I just really, really adore, but it's just one of those things that I'm having fun experimenting with right now. So I picked up this Flower Beauty Concealer. This is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. The full coverage part is what really got me. I have the Flower Beauty Get Real Serum Concealer, and that thing is fantastic. It's hydrating. I love the packaging. It's just really, really gorgeous. I love the formula as well. However, I wish it had just a touch more coverage to it. So I thought this one might be similar. This is in the shade Porcelain. I am super excited about this. It's not, I haven't opened it yet. Let's open it and see what she looks like. I was able to pick this up for $3.99. This goes for $13 at full price at Ulta. So I saved a good bit here. I saved eight or $9 on this concealer. Ooh, okay, so that packaging is stunning. I love this packaging, super slim and sleek. It's got this really gorgeous kind of like gold and white topper to it. It feels very luxurious at a really nice price point. So I love that. Let's open her up, see what the color looks like. Ooh. So that's the coverage. It's definitely a little bit yellow for me, but I can honestly make that work. Uh, I find that a little bit of that yellow peachy undertone helps to kind of brighten and correct just a little bit of what's going on on my under eyes. So I'm not too worried about it. Let's dab her out and see what the coverage looks like when it's blended out just a little bit. So that's tapped out y'all. There's some serious coverage here. I am stoked. I am super, super excited about this. It feels super thin, almost water-like. 
and it's laying really beautifully on the back of my hand as well. It looks super smoothing. Also, it feels like it dries down on its own, so it's not going to need a ton of powder to set it, which lets me think it's not going to crease a ton on me either. I am so excited. I am super excited about this one. I cannot wait to try this. This will be going on my face ASAP. This is probably one of my favorite finds of the day. So, so excited. Now, the other concealer that I picked up is from Laboratories Number no. 7. Now, Labs Number no. 7 is one of my very favorite skincare brands. I love a lot of their skincare. They are a UK-based brand, and I think they're a drugstore brand over in the UK. They're a drugstore brand here as well. But why don't, I don't get to play with a lot of their makeup just because it's not sold in store in a lot of places that I shop. Uh, I think the only place that they're actually sold in store is maybe like maybe like Walgreens or someplace like that. However, my Walgreens doesn't carry them. So when I saw this, I was super excited. I was so excited, in fact, that I didn't take the time to really check out the shade. And this is in the shade number five. And I believe this is, this, this is way too dark for me. This is the Hydra Luminous Dark Circle Concealer. It has this really nifty kind of like sponge tip applicator. But even there, you can see that is definitely not my shade and it's not going to work on my under eyes. However, I thought maybe I could use this as a little bit of a contour kind of thing or like maybe as a liquid bronzer because that's almost kind of the perfect shade uh, for a bronzer for me. Now, I didn't pay too much for this. I paid $3.99 for it. So not too mad about it. I think originally this goes again for around 12 or $13. So I saved around eight bucks on this. I'm not mad at it. I definitely will be able to use it as a bronzer contour kind of situation. It's not too orange. It's not too deep. So I will be able to get some use out of it. However, I won't be able to use it on my under eyes. And that makes me really, really sad. Another thing that I was super excited about, I found the It Cosmetics CC Plus Full Coverage Cream. Now, again, this is not in my shade. However, I have those, my Shop Miss A mixing pigments. I have the blue and the white so I can lighten it up and then I can, you know, cool it down just a little bit if it's too warm for me. So as long as it's somewhere close to my skin tone, I can make it work. Y'all, I have used this already. It is stunning. It is absolutely, it, it looks so pretty on the skin. This again is the It Cosmetics CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. It says anti-aging hydrating serum with an SPF of 50 plus. Y'all, I've heard so much about this. I was so excited to find it. Now, of course, this is not the full size. This is the mini. However, the mini at Ulta still goes for $21. Can you freaking believe that? Who would pay $21 for this teeny tiny little tube of foundation? I will tell you, there's a ton of product in here and I just, it took the very, very tiny, smallest amount to do my whole face. So this thing will probably last me absolutely forever. Uh, I only paid paid five dollars and ninety nine cents for this. Uh, it's twenty one dollars originally, so I saved a fair bit of money here as well. I thought this was a super super fun find. I cannot tell you guys how many times these little mixing pigments have come in and saved the day. I think this is probably one of my very very favorite purchases or finds of yet yeah, last year. Uh, these Shop Miss A mixing pigments are just they're so they come in handy. They're so, so useful. If you guys don't have these in your collection and you find it difficult, if you have trouble finding your perfect shade, or if you have trouble, even just like if you have trouble just gauging, like, or if you are going into the sun or if your skin tone changes throughout the year, I know I get darker in the summer and later in the winter. These things are going to come in handy for you. You're going to use them a lot more than you think you will. And the reason I love these as much as I do is it's such a teeny tiny little bottle. I don't have to worry about having this big giant bottle of pigment that I'll never use up. They're super affordable. They're $1.88 a piece. You absolutely, you can't beat this. And because I have this, this will actually work. I, you guys know, I am definitely not a medium skin tone. And I believe that's what this shade is. I have hunted all over this packaging trying to find the shade name. And I don't think, I don't think it's on here. The closest I can get is it says up here, it says there's a little MD right there at the top. So I'm assuming this is medium. 
I don't know. If you guys know about that, please let me know because I really cannot find the shade name on here anywhere. But I think this is the shade medium. It is a teeny tiny little bit dark for me. And when I say a teeny tiny little bit dark for me, it is definitely dark for me. However, with uh, by adding the pigments to it, I can definitely make it work. And then plus, come summer when I get a little bit of a tan, this is going to be absolutely perfection. So that's the shade of it. Definitely too deep for me. But again, we can make it work. But y'all, the finish of this is so pretty. Like I said, I have worn this on my face already. I could not wait to get it all up, like to paint it on, basically. It wore so beautifully. I would never go out and purchase this at full price, but as a little kind of like a uh, hidden treasure at my discount store, I was all up on it like white on rice. Super, super exciting. Really beautiful formula. If you have the money to kind of play with, I think this is a fantastic, fantastic product. I actually found quite a bit of high end makeup there this time. Usually nine times out of 10, I go to my Burks and everything is incredibly picked over. The shelves are bare and it's kind of like, it's a, it's a little bit depressing, quite honestly, but I must have caught them on a truck day because the, the shelves were stocked and there was all kinds of goodies. So much so that I found a freaking benefit eyebrow pencil. So this is the Benefit Gimme Brow Volumizing Pencil. This again is another mini. I'm not mad at it though. Uh, this is in the shade Warm Light Brown. This is in the shade three. This is what it looks like. Super cute, teeny tiny little pencil. Now I was able to pick this up for $3.99 at full price. This is $13. Again, I don't know. Like that, that's just a lot of money for half an eyebrow pencil. However, I was curious, so I picked it up, and this is so, this is good. It's beautiful. It reminds me very much of like an eyebrow powder in a pencil, and that made me think of my NYX eyebrow powder pencil, and y'all, they're almost identical. This is my NYX eyebrow powder pencil. I have mine in the shade Cool Ash Brown. Guys, it they're almost identical. It it blew me away the very minute I felt the texture of the Benefit one. I was like, I've felt this texture before. They're like, guys, they're so, so similar. Maybe the tones are not identical, but the formulas and the way that they apply to the eyebrow, the effect that they have in the eyebrow are so, so similar. So there's this two side by side. There is a shade comparison. Honestly, I like the shade of the NYX a little bit better. Uh, I think that it's not quite as red and not quite as warm. However, the similarities here are absolutely undeniable. And I think at this one, you get uh, you get a full size pencil for like $11, even cheaper than that. I'll pop up a picture down in the corner and let you guys know what the price actually is. But I know it's a heck of a lot more affordable than the Benefit one. And while the packaging on the Benefit one is super adorable, guys, I just, plus this one comes with a freaking spoolie on it. Like this one, you're just getting a little pencil and a nifty little pencil cap. Like, Y'all, if you have been wanting to try the Benefit Gimme Brow Brow Pencil, check out the NYX Eyebrow Powder Pencil. They're, they're identical. The formulas are almost identical, and I like the NYX one even more. Now, another brand that I only ever find at my local Burks is W7. W7 is another UK-based drugstore brand. They are very much like a, a dupe brand. They are a copycat brand, uh, but they're so, so good. Their formulas are always fantastic. I have quite a few W7 products and I love them all. So when I came across this one, I was like, yes, please. Now, the only thing about buying at W7 at those discount stores is you're not getting, you're not getting a, a deal, right? because they'll charge you a set price for it. Like this one, they wanted they wanted $6 for this one. And if I were to have bought this brand new from the W7 website, I would have only spent $6.25. So I'm not saving any money on this product. However, I picked it up anyway, just because it's super, super pretty. Again, packaging, absolutely adorable. Now this is a blush and highlight kind of compact. So you do get a really beautiful 
full-sized mirror and then this is what your product looks like now I've already dug into this bad boy she is stunning it's just a really gorgeous kind of like it's I wouldn't say it's a blush there's not enough pigment in here for it to be a blush at least in my opinion but it is a super gorgeous kind of like rose gold highlight it is super buildable it's very uh very thin very smooth kind of formula so there's no chunky glitter in here I really enjoy the W7 highlights. They very much remind me of Makeup Revolution. However, I think W7 is, is even more affordable than uh, Revolution is, but I just think that highlight is so, so pretty. It's so silky and smooth. I adore the packaging. It's it's just pretty. I picked it up. I had to have it. This is one of those things that I would kind of like put in my purse and uh, I wouldn't be scared to travel with it because if it broke, it's only $6. You know what I mean? However, I could take it out and feel just a little bit bougie because it's got this really cute gold and pink packaging on it. I like it. I like it a lot. I definitely don't need this in your life. There's nothing exceptional about it. I just thought it was super cute, so I picked it up. The next powder product I purchased was this thing from Pure Cosmetics. Pure Cosmetics is one of those brands that I am very, very intrigued by. They're definitely more of a high-end price point, but all of their makeup is super... I want to say like skincare focused. Everything is is about just like bringing out the natural beauty of your skin. Uh, just kind of like taking what you have and making it a little bit better. Their products are super high quality. They're always beautifully packaged. And this is no different. This is the Pure 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Makeup. I was able to pick this up for $4.99. Now this is available on the Ulta website for $29.50. Y'all, I saved a ton of money on this product. I picked it up in the shade Ivory. I have got to tell you, this is some of the prettiest pressed powder packaging and certainly the heaviest uh, I've got in my entire collection. It is a beautiful, beautiful powder compact. You open it up, you get a really beautiful high quality mirror in here and then this is your powder. Now this is powder I have played with a couple of times and it is so pretty on the skin what it looks like on the finger there's definitely pigmentation there gives you just a little bit of coverage but it goes on and it's super smoothing and flattering on the skin look look the coverage is so so pretty it's very lightweight it's not heavy it's not cakey let's let's put a wee bit of it on so you guys can see what I'm talking about I'm just gonna take my elf this is my elf fleshy fluffy highlighting brush I'm just gonna take a little bit and we'll do just a little bit of it on the under eye it's beautifully brightening but it doesn't look super dry on the skin or heavy it doesn't look cakey I am so picky about the powders that I use on my under eyes and this one especially like foundation powders I almost never use a foundation powder on my under eye because I just find that they get so heavy so so fast but this one just looks so, so pretty. Like you can see the difference instantly, how much brighter this side is, how much smoother it looks. So, so nice. This is going to be one of those uh, powders that I stick in my purse and take with me for touch-ups throughout the day, just because it's got that great, um, it's got that perfect amount of that little bit of coverage, but it's beautifully mattifying as well. It definitely like absorbs oils and things like that. This is one of those powders that is going to like bring your makeup back together. If you're out walking around and you start sweating your makeup off, this is going to come in and save the day. I just think it is so, so pretty. And then it just, it looks better the longer you wear it because it's so mattifying. The more your natural oils kind of come out to play, it soaks them up and it just kind of like melts into your skin and it looks better the longer you wear it. I really, really like this. It's got broad spectrum SPF 15 and they had a bunch of different colors. Uh, in this one, I got this one. This is just a little bit yellow or peachy for me, but I also picked up a, another shade that I can't find. I forgot where I put it, but that one has more of like a neutral, cool leaning undertone to it. And it looks even better on my skin, but look how pretty that under eye is. This powder is so nice. And the packaging, the packaging is so, so pretty and it's heavy. It feels like a freaking hockey puck. And then of course I had to save the very best for last 
y'all. I got a skincare product. Now, when I show you this skincare product and tell you how much I paid for it, you're going to be like, girl, you are crazy. Why would you ever? However, let me tell you right now that I saved $60 on this product and I am in love with both this product and the brand in general. So this, this right here is the Shiseido Ultimune Power Infusing Concentrate. Guys, I paid six or $50. I paid $50 for this product. This is 1.6 fluid ounces. Any guesses as to how much this goes for on Ulta.com? Y'all, this is $110 facial serum and I got it for 50 bucks. I absolutely lost my freaking mind. Now $50 is a lot to spend, especially on any one product. However, when it comes to my skincare, especially the older I get, I just, I feel like skincare is definitely worth investing in. I would rather have one really good product than two just okay products. And for me, Shiseido is one of those brands that just comes in and they just really, really take care of my skin. Now I've tried the eye cream from this brand and I adored it so, so very much. I think I talked about, talked about it in my last empties video. I just ran out of it. That eye serum is really expensive as well. And though I cannot afford to purchase these products at full price, whenever I find them at a discounted price, I am always just like, I will make it work because they really do work. They're so hydrating and they're so beautiful on the skin. The packaging is absolutely freaking phenomenal. This is a super heavy glass jar. And then you have this really gorgeous metallic red lid. It comes with a pump. And again, remember, Remember that there is 1.6 fluid ounces of product in here. So that's an ounce, a little bit over an ounce and a half. This is going to last me absolutely forever. This is a really gorgeous hydrating toner slash essence. It's kind of like a pre-serum for your skincare routine. Uh, this is the very first thing that you put on your face. Uh, I use this AM and PM all you need is two pumps. The texture of this is just, it's like liquid silk. It goes onto your skin and you can feel it instantly plumping and hydrating. It's stunning. Now, $50 for this product, I feel like is an absolute steal. Like I said, at full price, it's $110. And y'all, there there were two of them there, and I cannot tell you how badly I wanted to put both of them into my basket and then run to the checkout counter. Unfortunately, I could only afford one of them, but y'all, I am so, so excited. I have used this every single day and night since I purchased it. There's still a ton of product in here. And I have noticed a significant difference, especially in dry patches around my nose. Uh, my nose is so, so dry. Uh, and especially when I put makeup on, like there's always just these little tiny pieces of skin that stick up on my nose just because it's always dry. It kind of is what it is. But I've noticed a significant decrease in that happening since I started using this serum. So I'm going to go ahead and say $50 well spent. Y'all, so, so good. Shiseido is one of those brands that I don't think a lot of people talk about because they are so expensive. But if you ever find them at a discounted price or if you ever find them on sale, something like that, I highly, highly recommend you go check them out. Because as much as I love my drugstore skincare, y'all, this stuff is, it's so, so good. It's so good. And it really, really, really does work. I think that is about it for today's video. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed it. I saved so much money. All of these things I love so, so very much. I am very excited about the giveaway. It's coming very, very soon. So keep an eye out for it, y'all. I think if you're smart about what you're purchasing at these discount stores, you can really walk away with some serious savings. Uh, make sure that you're checking, make sure that nothing has been opened, things like that. I went to, oh, I went to Ulta the other day and I was so excited to be at Ulta, all of that good stuff. So I went and I was kind of, and y'all, I almost walked up to the counter with a tester lip gloss. Oh, could you imagine? Just really make sure that you're paying attention to what you're picking up and what you're purchasing. Just be smart about your purchases. I think powder is one of those things that's going to be good for absolutely forever. As long as it doesn't get wet, powder is just going to be, you're going to be okay with powder. 
I also think as long as things like concealer is sealed and it's never been opened, you're going to be okay with that as well. These, when I purchased them, they had the little, oh, see, this one still does. I purchased a couple of these. This one, it still has little uh, plastic or tin coating on it. So I know this hasn't been messed with. Just make sure you're looking at your products, making sure they're untouched. But y'all, those discount stores can be such a fun way to try new brands and try new products. I'm so excited. Guys, I love you so, so very much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. As always, I will list everything in the description box below. If you have any questions, all you got to do is leave me a comment. If you did enjoy today's video, please make sure you give it a big old thumbs up before you leave. Guys, I love you so, so very much. And until next time, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and remember, you're important. Bye.